Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be updating my debt tracker. So I'll be finalizing May's debt tracker and then I will start June's. I'll set it up for you guys so you could see what my plans are for the month of June in regards to paying down my debt. Before you get further into this video, I would truly appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help our channel out and helps to get our videos out to other viewers by working the YouTube's algorithm. Also subscribe, I can guarantee you that you'd like it here. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so the last time we did a video, we had a balance of 7,133 pounds. 21 pence now if you remember i did write these below here because i had intentions of paying these off by using the remainder of my house savings fund did i manage to do that of course i did i really did so the bed i paid 300 Actually, no, I didn't budget the 300. Let's remove that from there, sorry. I paid 300, so I'm gonna put a dash there and put that. And the balance on that is zero. And then for the phone, didn't budget for it, but I actually paid 381.61. It was actually less than this, I miscalculated so technically I paid 340 something 381.61 minus 38.18 I paid 343 pounds 43 pence but somewhere along my journey I forgot to log June's was it June or July's debt update last year so it looked like I owed more than I actually did. Anywho, I've put it here to make it make sense because that's what it was up here. So we paid that off and that's now zero. Guys, wow. Wow. I'm literally making a lot of headway. A lot of sacrifices, but it's so worth it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my total here. And 300 plus 381.61 is 681.61. Um, we didn't budget anything for it. And we paid 681.61. And we're going to subtract that from the amount up here. So we've got £7,133.21 pence minus 681.61. That takes us down to £6,451.61. Now, I do want to say this because this has been really, really heavy on my heart. If you're on your debt-free journey and you are watching other people on their journey, please don't be disheartened because you can't pay as much as they, they can. Just do the best you can. Make sure that you're not increasing your debt. That's a big mistake I made. And I think I'm going to go further into that when I refill my debt confessions video because I tried to do it twice on live and even though it made sense, I was all over the place. So I wanna really sit down and just kind of, you know, have a 10 minute video explaining that, but don't add anything else to your debt. Do yourself a favor and don't do that, all right? And just keep your head down and do what you can. Not because I've personally made these payments makes me any better than you. I was just in a more fortunate situation, which somehow has set me back several years because I used the savings that I had 
set aside for a lifelong goal. Okay, so that's how we were able to do this. Anyway, with that said, let's get down into June. So our debt name is June. And we need a sticker for this. Let me see if I can find one here. I feel like I need to find someone who does stickers that I could um put over here. I think that that's a good idea to look for. Because this one is my last debt sticker. I've not got any more whatsoever after I use this. So that's going to be very interesting. I like these little stickers because they're so nice and small. Okay. All right, so if we've taken out creations and the phone, the only two categories we've got left are NatWest. And I like to write in when they are coming to an end, when I need to make the payments by. So I'm gonna put it as the 1st of the 4th, 24. And then Tesco is going to be the first of the third, 24. Okay. So not with. No, Tesco is not 24, guys. What am I saying? Tesco is 25. 2025. All right, so NatWest. My budgeted amount for NatWest is 366 pounds. Actually, what am I doing? I'm not following the book. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, I need to put SB. For starting balance, I need to put BA for budgeted amount and I need to put actual. And then this would be your balance. All right. So my starting balance for NatWest is £4,021. pence. My budgeted amount is 366. This is a huge amount of money, guys, but that's what we've got to do. And then we've got our Tesco. And the balance on that is 2,430. And my budgeted amount is 30 pounds. These are our numbers for the month of June. I might be able to add more or whatnot. Guys, I need to go to bed, literally. I've not slept last night. I apologize if I'm all over the place. I don't know why I'm writing in the wrong box. I guess because I'm so accustomed to doing it like that. Okay, so yeah. Back to what I was saying, if there's money left over from other categories, I might put it towards debt or I might put it into like my grocery rollover or another category that really, really needs it. It just depends. But do keep an eye out for when I do my debt confessions video. I've got a payment plan set up and everything. I've worked out how much I want to pay over a certain amount of time and I'll share that with you guys so you guys could sort of see my thought process. So this concludes today's video. We're not looking bad at all. We've got £6,451.60 in credit card debt. That's our overall credit card debt, guys. 
that's what we've got so i'm gonna keep my head down and try to get this knocked out do remember that natwest there's an interest on this card for a certain amount there's part of it that's interest free and part of it that's on your monthly interest so i bet your interest for this month is probably going to be like three pounds not three pounds 30 pounds guys i'm going to end this video thumbs it up love and light to you guys always subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i'm so tired that i'm talking nonsense but i hope this video made a lot of sense bye